Well, looky there, we're live. Come on in, everybody. Well, come on in. Come on in. Pull up a chair and tell me how you been. We're fixing to sing, and I'm doing the lead. So if you would do the harmony, but if you can't sing in tune, well, that's okay, because I can't hear you. Just don't forget your decaf on sweet tea. Then sit up straight and sing along with me. Come on in, come on in. Pull up a chair, tell me how you've been. Don't forget that unsweet tea. Then sit up straight and sing along with me. Yeah, sit up straight and sing along with me. What is happening? Y'all, I just heard. Turn that off. Why is this doing this? I heard it talking while I was singing. You know that Siri voice goes off. And then when I quit singing, that started. I'm telling you, technology. I want to say, you know how they used to always preach against everything they didn't understand? Well, let's see. What am I doing? Oh, y'all, we've got songs. Oh, and also I wanted to let you know that season four of Dinner Conversations with Mark Lowry and Andrew Greer released uh, today. The podcast on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get you know, listen to your podcast if you listen to them. And then if you want to watch it, um, they're on YouTube at the Dinner Conversations YouTube page. Oh, uh, uh, Matthew, oh, Matthew West, Candy Christmas, a lot of good interviews. Uh, Mark's keys were left behind. I'm telling you, this thing, this Apple Watch I'm about ready to throw it in the river. It tells you too much information, like stand up. You know, you're sitting too much. I know that. I don't need, it doesn't take a rocket scientist from whatever valley, semi-valley, to tell me I'm sitting too much. I, I know that. There's a reason for it. It's because I want to. As old J.D. Sumner used to tell me, when I'd go, J.D., are you really going to do that? He'd go, I'm full grown. And I love that. He he was too. Of course, he passed away at 73. You know, I thought that was old. I thought 73 was old. Now that I'm 64, 70, 73's looking younger every day. Sounds like a country song, don't it? All right, let's see what we got to sing today, for y'all, because I just love singing with you. Um, we are in the G's in our hymnal. God leads his dear children along is what's next. And why don't we sing it? Here we go. Oh, Philip be there on the keyboard. All right, sit up straight and sing with me. In shady green pastures so rich and so sweet God leads his dear children along where the waters cool flow bathes the weary one's feet God leads his dear children along here we go sit up straight y'all some through the water, some through the flood, some through the fire, but all through the blood. 
Some through great sorrow, but God gives a song in the night season and all the day long. Sometimes on the mount where the sun shines so bright, God leads his dear children Sometimes in the valley, in darkest of night, God leads his dear children along. Everybody sing with me. Some through the water, some through the flood, some through the fire. song in the night season and all the day long. <laughs> Philip B. Dare. Thank you, Philip. Y'all, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, my God. Goodness gracious, have you ever done that and it feels like someone's up inside there just tickling you? So I called my doctor. And he said, you can either come in for, uh, what did he call that thing? Let me, let me look. Hold on. Um, oh, I turned my phone off because it was singing to me. Let me turn it back on. It was some kind of something or other I could come in and do and find out about my sinuses, which I might do if I have time. But my brother and Natasha are flying in tomorrow. I'm picking them up at 11, and we're making a beeline for Mid uh, mm, for Texas, somewhere in Texas, Midlothian, Texas, where my niece and my nephew-in-law have birthed four months ago. They birthed the most beautiful child since the Lord graced the earth. I'm sure he was very pretty too. But I'm going to see Colin Wyatt, Tate. And uh, anyway, I called my doctor. And I said, listen, I'm about to yank off my nose and scratch it. And he said, unless you want to come in for one of these tests, and this is not, y'all, this is not any kind of doctor report. You need to talk to your doctor before you do anything. But he told me to go to the, uh, the CVS or Walgreens, whatever you go to, and get XYZAL. I don't know how you pronounce that. Zizal. XYZ. Hey, Al. Oh, you can remember. XYZ, Al. Hey, Al. I haven't taken it yet because I wanted to show you this package before I did. And then he said, get some Flonase. This used to be just prescription, but evidently now you can buy it, because I just did, right off the shelf. And look how the green disappears. This whole Flonase bottle inside here is green. There's two of them, in fact. Look. And it, because of the green screen, they, anyway. So, as soon as we finish today, that's what I'm fixing to load up on. Shell Standerfer says Zizal works great. Thank you. Zizal. Walla Ann Sewell says, excuse me, now I need something for my gas. Okay, let's sing. What could we do next? Oh, I love this one, and that's in the cheese. This is Cheryl Rogers. You remember this song? Sing with me now. Marvelous grace of our loving Lord, grace that exceeds our sin and our guilt. 
Yonder on Calvary's mount outpoured There where the blood of the Lamb was spilt Grace, grace, God's grace Grace that will pardon and cleanse within Grace, grace, God's grace, grace that is greater than all our sin. I'm sorry. Marvelous, infinite, matchless grace, freely bestowed on all who believe you that are longing to see his face will you this moment his grace receive grace grace god's grace grace that will pardon and cleanse within grace God's grace, grace that is greater than all our sin. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found was blind, but now I see. Sin and despair, like the sea waves cold, threaten the soul. With infinite loss, grace that is greater, yes, grace untold, points to the refuge that mighty cross. Sing grace, grace, God's grace, grace that will pardon and cleanse within. Grace, grace, God's grace, grace that is greater than all my sin. Grace that's greater than all my sin. Thank you, Cheryl Rogers, for that pretty rendition on the piano. Love, love, love this, says Carol Dolly, and what a day that will be. Please, can we sing this? Sure we can. What a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see. When I look upon his face, the one who saved me by his grace, when he takes me by the hand then leads me through the promised land oh what a day a glorious day that will be <clears throat> Just suppose God searched through heaven and couldn't find one willing to be the supreme sacrifice that was needed. That would buy eternal life for you and me. 
Had it not been for a place called Mount Calvary Had it not been for the old rugged cross Had it not been for a man called Then forever my soul would be lost. Oh, Lord, I'm so glad you were willing to drink the bitter cup. Although you prayed, Father, let it pass from me. I'm so glad you didn't call heaven's angels from my hands pull the nails that torment me oh had it not been seen for a place called Mount Calvary had it not been for the old rugged cross had it not been for a man called jesus then forever my soul would be lost Then forever my soul would be lost. Uh, I tell you what, there's something to be said for losing your testosterone. You can cry at the drop of a hat, but oh my gosh, I don't think it was the drop of a hat. I'm so willing. I'm so thankful it says not willing. He was willing. Oh, Rusty Goodman, thank God for you. Oh, when you wrote this song, that second verse, I'm so glad. He was willing to drink the bitter cup. Oh, although he prayed, he still prayed. The the flesh, the human, the, that side of you of Jesus didn't want to drink that. You know what was in that cup? Everything I've ever done wrong was in that cup. All of my sin was in that cup. Gloria Gaither says that the cross was a picnic after the cup. I never understood that when she'd say that. But when you think about what was in that cup, maybe it was a picnic compared to drinking the bitter cup. In that cup was all the sin of the world, and he drank it, and he who knew no sin became sin for us, y'all. He took our whipping. That's what he did. He became sin for us so we could be set free, and you're free. Oh, I hope you know how free you are. If you don't, go read Galatians. It'll tell you. Dear Lord, no wonder I need this stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm so glad he was willing to drink the bitter cup. Oh, thank you, Rusty Goodman, for writing that song. Thank you, the Lord. Oh, Lord Jesus, thank you for drinking that bitter cup and taking my sin upon yourself because you knew I couldn't. I don't. I couldn't pay for it. I could never be good enough to pay for my sin. But the Lord Jesus said, you know what? I love him. He said, I love Mark so much. I'll go. I'll go and I'll rescue him. I'll, I'll give my life is what the Lord Jesus said to the Father, I guess. I don't know. I wasn't in on the conversation. But that's what happened. He wrapped himself in flesh and became one of us. 
so he could lay down his life for us. But he didn't stay dead long, y'all. That's the good news. You know, he did die for us. Thank you so much. But he didn't stay dead but three days. He, he ain't going to mess with that. He had, a, he had his sights on death in the grave, and he intended to destroy it, which is exactly what he did. That's why we can say mama's just resting. Daddy's just taking a nap till, till resurrection morning, and then we'll all be judged, and that blessed fire of God will wash over us and burn away all the sin and the chaff and the stuff we try to change and get rid of with one breath from his nostrils, the flame of God, I think. Who knows? I could be wrong. But I believe even his judgment is just a picture of his love, and it will burn away all all that nastiness, I begged him to get rid of. But Paul said, you know, Paul begged God to fix him too. And God told Paul, my grace is sufficient. You're just going to have to live with it. That's what he said. And God's grace is sufficient. I don't care what you're going through. It's sufficient or you wouldn't be here. I don't know what I'm saying. You know, it's a good thing I'm here by myself talking to this camera and microphone because I'm sure nobody's watching. Oh, good. Only 897 of y'all are watching on all those different uh, uh, platforms. <laughs> oh, isn't it fun to think about him, though? Isn't it fun? Dwell on it. Isn't it good when brothers and sisters c come together over something that was created by who knows who, but we're just, I'm live sitting here talking to you like we're on FaceTime, but I'm the only one talking, which when I do FaceTime my family, it's pretty much the same. You know, they just sit and stare. They could place a picture and then put the camera, and I'd just be talking away to whoever. <laughs> Mama was like that too. I love the Lord. Okay, let's see what else we got. Man, I hope I don't break down on all those others. But I'm telling y'all, there's a blessing that comes with getting older. And it's called losing your testosterone. And uh, I don't know if you women lose uh, what y'all lose, but uh, I've lost something that I can just think about the goodness of the Lord. And I can already, you know what happens? I feel it in my stomach first. And it starts quivering like when I was a kid and I knew I was going to get a spanking from daddy when he got home. And that, 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 <laughs> you know, that thing. And then, and then up here it starts burning like somebody's got a couple of pliers on each side of my nostrils and they're clamping down. Or like I've just taken a big bite of horseradish. Holy Spirit, horseradish, same thing, almost. I'm telling you, very similar. And then the tear ducts, they start building up. And I, and I got enough up there to hold them back for a little bit. But then it just, you know, good night. Just let it go. Let it go. Uh -uh. I don't want to sing that. I will get a penalty on copyright. Okay. Well, okay. Let's see. Let's get over here and see what else I got to sing today. Had it not been. Great. Mm -mm -mm. We did that. Some through great. We did that one. I once was lost in sin. Oh, let's do that. Have a little talk with Jesus. All right, sit up straight, let's sing. Well, I once was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in. And then a little light from heaven filled my soul. He bathed my heart in love, then he wrote my name above. And just a little talk with Jesus made me whole. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our trouble. He will hear our faintest cry. And he will answer by and by. Now when you feel a little prayer will turn in you. We'll know a little fire is burning. Find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. I turn it around, Kevin. When I may have doubt and fear, my eyes be filled with tears. But Jesus is a friend who watches day and night. I go to him in prayer. He knows my every care. 
And just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Come on, y'all sing. Have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about our trouble. He will hear our faintest cry. He will answer by and by. And when you feel a little prayer will turn in, you will know a little fire is burning. You will find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Yeah, find a little talk with Jesus. You know where I love to have a little talk with Jesus <clears throat> is in my shower. I just don't know. There's something about water coming on, and then I just, it's, you know, just me in there, and I talk to the Lord, and sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes I listen. Have you ever listened when you're praying? It takes effort because your brain's still firing off stuff. But you've shut down the mouth and you're just kind of like seeing if you can hear anything. And he'll speak to you. I tell you, he will. You know, he said, my sheep know my voice. He didn't say my sheep know my face. My sheep know my voice, and he will speak to you if you'd shut up long enough and listen. That's what I think. Mother Teresa said that, too. Remember when I think I heard Larry King ask her, when you pray, what do you do? She said, I listen. And he said, well, what does God do? He said, he listens. So I guess when Mother Teresa prayed, they're both God and her just sitting there listening, and nobody's saying nothing. But... I don't know. I never horned in on her prayer life. But I do know that uh, from experience, I think, now, for the most part, when I pray, I'm doing all the talking. I'm just running my mouth. I start off thanking God for all the goodness. You know, getting to hear Lisa Harper lift him so high on Sunday morning. I just don't know when I've heard anybody lift, any, lift Jesus quite as high as Lisa Harper did on Sunday morning. You've got to go hear her. Any chance you can, uh, go hear this woman. Anyway, uh, then I think about, you know, all the delicious meals I've cooked since I got my new kitchen finished and thank the Lord for that. Anyway, then you just shut up and listen. Like that. And if he doesn't say anything, well, then okay. At least you tried, you know. So that's, I don't know why I've said all that. Sometimes I'm hearing some of this stuff for the first time myself. I tell the audience sometimes that night, I say, listen, I'm hearing this, some of this for the first time myself, and I'm as offended as you are. Because <laughs> I'm at the age where you're supposed to get offended about everything, aren't you? Uh, that's what I always thought. Well, but maybe not. Uh, what's next on our sing-a-thong here on this beautiful, beautiful, what is this? Monday and tomorrow, 11 a.m., the plane lands from Lynchburg, Virginia, and my older brother Mike and his perfect wife will walk off that plane, get in my car, and 3.6 hours later, we will be fighting over a 14 18, I'm sorry, 18-pound, four-month-old fat ball of cheese. That's what we'll be doing. And I plan on, look at how bad the neck gets at this age. But at his age, that is solid butter. This is solid butter with just a whiff of heaven on it. And you get down, just chew it, but make sure you're shaved because you don't want to give him a, a rug burn or anything. You know, I try to listen sometimes, but I think I'm so young in my Christianity that I'm not able to hear yet. Maybe. Amy P., what do y'all think? Amy asked that question. That's a good question, Amy. I don't know how old you are in your faith or how long you've known the Lord. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Whoops, there it is. Look, there it is, y'all. Hold on, let me get over here and shorten that thing. Get it where y'all can see it. Uh... I think you know the Lord. I think the minute you meet him, he probably introduces himself, I would guess. And you start knowing it even then. I mean, it's the voice of God that's, that tugs at your heart the first time you heard about him, you know. And, and, you, and you consider believing in him, you know. I think his, you, get, you start hearing it then. 
You can hear it, of course, through the Word of God. But he has a Texas accent when he talks to me. Can you imagine? And I figure if you live in the jungles of Australia, whatever they call that over there with that accent, he speaks to you in your tongue and your accent. You know, if you've never spoken English, he knows your language. And uh, <clears throat> so that kind of thing, you know. Wait a second. Do you still believe in your push it to 70, Joe? Oh, yes, Pierre. Yes, I do. I am going to, I hope I see 70. And uh, yeah, remember that, that, that was, I borrowed that bit. That was not original. Hey, Eddie Gall. Looky there. There's Eddie Gall. Listen, if you're ever in Cookville, Tennessee, Go by Eddie's and tell him I sent you. This man has buffalo in his yard. He raises buffalo, and he sells them, and, and you can eat one if you want to. Um, okay, what else we got to sing? Hey, Eddie, tell Frida I said hello. I got to know them when I had my houseboat. Remember me talking about my houseboat? Um, and that's the one where I went through that tornado on it and nearly saw the Lord, it felt like. Great is thy faithfulness. Okay, y'all, this is another slow one, but evidently this section of the hymnal, there's slow songs, but oh, look at these lyrics. Mm -hmm. Sing. Great is thy faithfulness. Oh God, my Father, there is no shadow of turning with Thee. Thou changest not Thy compassions, they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever will be. Saying, great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercy. I see all I have needed thy hand hath provided great is thy faithfulness Lord unto me summer and winter, springtime and harvest, sun, moon, and stars in their courses above, join with all nature in man. Thy great faithfulness, mercy, and love. Sing to him. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercy. I see all I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. For sin and a peace that endureth 
thine own dear presence to cheer and to guide strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow blessings all mine with ten thousand besides sing with me y'all great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness morning by morning new mercies I see all I have needed thy hand hath provided great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness Lord unto Has he been faithful to you? He's been good to me, y'all. I'm telling you, uh, he's been good to me. Merciful, long-suffering, and just keeps, you know, puts a song in your heart anytime you need one. I love these old songs. I love them, love them, love them. I love the lyrics. They don't write them like that anymore. Trust me, I'm a lyricist. I know what lyrics should look like. And they shouldn't overly repeat themselves. That's why, honestly, in the car, I don't listen to music. I listen to number 117 on Sirius because that's forensic files and they're telling stories that hold my attention. And then let's see what else. I love anything to do with talking, uh, but, but mainly because when you hear a song, and now every now and there'll be a song that'll knock me off my socks and I got to hear it over and over and over. But normally they repeat themselves every chorus and I've already heard it. Except these old songs. I don't mind them repeating themselves. I don't mind when I get to this chorus, blessed assured. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day. That's a good chorus right there. All the day long. And I love in that last song that it says, Mer um, mercies are new. Um, every morning, morning by morning, new mercies I see. Do you understand that where that's coming from, that's right from scripture where it says his mercies are new every morning. And aren't you glad? Because we wear them out every day. We need new mercies every morning. And I'm glad that our father never runs out of new mercies. Aren't you? Me too. Hello, Facebook user Paula Hendricks Ward, Jenny Allen, Holly Dreyer, Gracie Bentley, Luella Crooker, Pierre over there in France. That's his story, too, he says. Sheila Bradley Pittman, hello. Uh, all of you, just come, you know, thank you for coming and tuning in on 904 of you watching on this uh, Monday at October 17th, 2022. Do you realize 100 years from tonight, if the Lord hasn't returned, you'll be able to see this on YouTube and I will still look this age. I'll be so dead a hundred years from tonight, but because I'm doing these videos and YouTube will probably go on forever and this costs nothing. I mean, I don't know. They may change it one day. Oh, by the way, let me tell you the picture, Lavana Schmid. You did good from Prescott, Arizona on her. Isn't that gorgeous? Thank you for sending in that picture, Lavana Schmidt. But, uh, but anyway, back to my story. I want you to get a YouTube video, a YouTube channel. Go watch a YouTube video 
And in the search, go to YouTube, and in the search, how do I start a YouTube channel? And it will walk you through the process. Because anything you want to know, you can find on YouTube. You can go to their search engine and say, how do I build a squirrel-proof bird feeder? It'll walk you through that process. Anything you want to know. Well, start your channel, especially if you have grandchildren. Wouldn't you love to be able to sit down at YouTube and hear what your great-great-great-great-great-grandfather had to say about the 1700s? Wouldn't you? Well, you can leave a video for your great-great-great-great-grandchildren. Let them know what it was like in 2022. Let them know uh, what cars were like that used gas long before there were flying vehicles like they'll be using. Uh, you can tell them what it's like to follow Jesus for so many years and, and how you messed up and how you messed up. And, and not just that you messed up, but that you did mess up. And, and even though they mess up, they can still follow Jesus. He's, Jesus loves it when freaks, frauds, and failures follow him. At least those that know they're freaks, frauds, and failures. Because some of them, oh, you meet some of God's children, they don't have a clue. They really think they're pretty close to perfect. They, they must not have mirrors, I guess. Okay, well, let's get back to singing. Oh, uh, that little rabbit trail. Ah, uh, great is the we did that when I'm ready. My soul, that's too slow. That's another slow one. Oh, I'm out. Okay. That whole section was slow, and I've gone 41 minutes. I got one, but I'm scared, Cassie official says. Uh-oh. Did I scare you, Cassie? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare anybody today. How's your garden? Oh, Cindy Thompson, what a great question. Well, the garden produced my, you know, I had one of those garden, uh, what do you call them, uh, tower gardens that you've, it just, it grows with nothing but water and, and chemicals. And, well, I didn't do real good. So I, I have given that to Dina in the back house and let her mess with it. Um, so that's gone. Any other questions? Mark, can I do the female version of the day, date adventure? Well, Cassie Official, you asked two questions. I don't sing that anymore. That was 40 years ago when I was young. I'm reading your... Why are you interrupting me? I don't know who's interrupting me, you, Joy, Joy Wright. Somebody must be interrupting. Search engines are great, aren't they, Sandra? I try not to sin, but we are all sinners. Charlene Cofield, that is good. You should try. We all should try. But a person who says they have no sin is a liar, and the truth is in him. So don't ever say you're without sin, because right there you've goofed, because you lied. How are you? How are your Wednesday night study? You know what? The Wednesday night thing, I forgot about it. I got to go back and catch up. Mark's uh, Gene Starr says, I like your rabbit trails. Well, thank you, Gene. That's nice of you. Um, I'm reading, reading. Okay, I don't see anything. Hey, Pierre, he's over there still. Please, can you sing? Wait, wait, what? what's this person trying to say? Look, he's got J.D. Sumner in his picture. Please can you sing I Thank You? Please can you sing I Thank You? I don't know that song. My mother-in-law introduced your program to me. Well, there you go, Jenny Allen. Your mother-in-law must be a brilliant woman. God has always been faithful and wonderful to me. Me too, Gracie Bentley. Can you sing a song by Keith Green? I know you mean Green. You know I loved Keith Green, but I don't really know any of his songs. If you were to mention one, I bet it would pop in my head. And I might know the words, but just can't pull it out of one of those file cabinets up in there. You know what? I haven't heard from Israel and Chino in a couple of days. I've been busy. I guess they've been busy. I need to check in on them. Uh, thank you, Kathy Hollister, for saying I'm a blessing to so many people. Thank y'all for tuning in when you get the notification. 
that you drop everything and get on Facebook or YouTube or however you're watching me, make sure you give me a thumbs up, would you? That lets the algorithms know that that we like this music. We like these songs. Let's close today with, what else? Oh, let's close with He Touched Me. Oh, shackled by a heavy burden. Get the words up. Oh, thank you, Lord. All right, sit up straight and sing with me. Here we go. Hmm, shackled by a heavy burden. Neath the load of guilt and shame Then the hand of Jesus touched me And now I am no longer the same Same As that pot roast I made the other day, you should only put one package. If it's a three pound chuck roast, put one package of ranch dressing and one package of au jus. I put too much. It should just be one in one. And you don't have to pour the whole bottle in of the pepperoncini peppers either. It makes it pretty spicy if you do, which I like. But you could put in like, I think one recipe actually called for put in seven of them. And I don't think it called for any of the juice. But it needs some kind of juice in there, I think. But what do I know? I'm no Brenda Gant. But it sure was fun. Can you believe I had 165,000 of y'all uh, watch that? Let's see how many it's got now. Couldn't believe it. And I love the screenshot it took. Of my big gut. Right there in the shot. Hold on. Let me get over here and find it again. All right. Here's my Facebook page. Okay. There's Dinner Conversation Season 4. It's available now, y'all. And I put the link in the show notes, too. And look. There we are. There I am live. And then, let's see. Season 4. There it is. And there's there's the lazy book. Now, look at this. Look at it when it first gets on the shot. Look at the screenshot. It's a gut shot. But they've had, how many views? 196,000 views. Uh, maybe I should quit doing this and just cook. No, 
I don't think I don't see that happening. I do love to cook, and if I come up with something good, I, you know, something I like, and I want to share it with you, I'll, I'll let you know. But no, Brenda Gant, y'all, make sure you go to Cooking with Brenda Gant. If you're on Facebook, there's a lot of fake Mark Lowry pages everywhere, and there's a lot of fake Brenda Gant pages everywhere. Do not be deceived. If it doesn't, if Brenda Gant's Facebook page doesn't have over three million followers, it's a fake page. If my Facebook page that you're following me on doesn't have at least 1.3 million followers and a blue check mark on it, it's a fake page. So don't be deceived. Hey, y'all, did I say I'd sing something else? Wait a minute. What was I going to end with? Did I already do it? Let me see. Oh, he touched me. <laughs> oh, I love dementia.